All right, guys, so this is how to plastic dip your car. This is BD right here. Today, we're gonna be going and doing a plastic dip application on the chrome. Boo! And what's it like this if it's like nice and dry and hot? Yeah. 15, 20 minutes. Look how gentle he is with that can. How do you clean these? What about putting the tires on and off the car after it's plastic dip? I was gonna do it myself, but um, I don't have to. <gasps> this is the overspray. Is that overspray? Yeah, man. How about spray painting your windows? I don't know, no one's ever tried it before. Now he's gonna try it on his car. What is it, six rims? Six rims. So number six, IX rims. And now you're gonna say, yeah, what if, what if, what if? What if doesn't bring you success? Hey guys, what's going on? It's Martian here and I am putting on some glasses because it is freaking scorching out. It is 32 degrees. Today we're going to be going and doing a plastic dip application on the chrome rims. So we're going to go and get uh, this guy to do plastic dip on the rims and he also agreed to do the vents. He's doing it in the parking lot and I'm going to show you guys the rims that are currently and they are dirty. So this is what's gonna go black right here. Oh man, it's scorching outside. You can see plastic dip right here. So we're gonna show you guys the before and then after. So this is what we're gonna do. It's gonna go black. Plastic dip is uh, kind of like a, it's a rubber coating that goes in your rim so you can uh, paint it any color you want and then rip it off anytime you're not happy. It's supposed to last three years. I was gonna do it myself, but um, I don't have to, and I wanted to do a video of somebody else doing it so I can actually ask questions. So here it is. The very first important step is you should probably clean your rims. I didn't know how dirty these guys were because I just picked up the car with the wheels. So buddy just came. He was gracious enough to go and get a bucket of water with some soap. I'm just doing what I can till he comes back. He said the whole application is gonna take three hours. So this is BD right here. Bro. Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> so he's gonna be putting on the plastic dip on the rims and the hood. If he does a shitty job, everyone will know. <laughs> Safety second. Safety second. Why do you have them in water? It's hot water, so, so it allows this plastic dip to travel easily. Concentrated, not bubbly. It comes out like a, like a beautiful mist. You'll see, you'll see, you'll okay. see. All right. So the next step is to cover the brakes. This is actually the most important step. Nothing really happens. It just it just looks bad on the side on the brake. Oh, it's you not gonna damage it or anything. No, it won't it. And that's our first layer. It should be nice and easy. That's it. Yeah, for the first layer. We're doing number two. Second coat, you just go. You gotta go light, but a little bit more darker. And then third coat can be the intense one. Four or five coats of gloss make it all shiny. So what's the primary reason people want to change their rim color? For looks or they have scratches or? I'd say looks. They, what they do is they black out the rims and then they black out everything else. Like Looks so much better. Yeah, you can touch them. Not the cool stuff. Yeah. How old are you? 21. Starting early, man. Entrepreneurs. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. You know, I bought my first house when I was 21. Really? Uh-huh. That's what some last guy told me too. You make me feel like shit, maybe I'll buy my house too. You know how I did it? Uh, I used my OSAP. Really? <laughs> oh, you fucking lying! I did! My parents were poor, but I always uh, I always worked full time. Yeah. Even in school. I learned what to do, what not to do. I bought in the wrong location, but in the end, I obviously made little money. Mm -hmm. And then I moved on to the next one, and then you learn, and the next one, and you learn. Third course, you want to go in real deep. Wait, well, you can still see the aluminum on the sides. Yeah. Like here, there's a blotch. Mm -hmm. well, I just start. What about putting the tires on and off the car after it's plastic dip? It's like durable, but not too durable, but mm. also durable. That's where peeling off the start, see? From the side, right here. Don't people forget to do that. That is third coat right there. Can you already see a difference? Go from fourth. Yeah, definitely. So we're in a fourth coat now. So how thick should you put the plastic dip on the wheel? Like there's a millimeter or two. But once you go like five, six coats, 
you can see that like once I start peeling peeling it off from here you're gonna see but it's nothing nothing too big maybe maybe one millimeter how so long does it take for the glossifier to uh, to dry I say two minutes five minutes oh. five minutes max so let me see if this I think you can start this one yeah yeah I mean it, it could be overspray but I mean it's not gonna matter it's not gonna no, no, it's I'm already black So uh, he just prepped the hood, so he's gonna start spraying the the main part of the car. So six rims also provides you with tail tinting services. So how do you tint uh, tail lights? Smoke. So it's almost like the matte black, except for it's a little bit lighter. Okay, so, so it's more too, transparent. Yeah, you don't get. How about spray painting your windows? I actually, <laughs> actually thought of that. That's a cheap way to do it, but I'm saying, I don't know. No one's ever tried it before. Now he's gonna good. try it on his car. Toxic fumes from the cans may Have trigger a fire alarm. <laughs> so now I'm gonna roll back so we can get the last details. Keep going. Go. Six coat heavy as possible. See all the stuff we missed. So here's the difference. You got your and then you've got your boo chrome. What is it? Six rims? Six rims. So number six, IX rims. Look how gentle he is with that can. Just like the ladies. So when you take this off, how do you take it off? You just grab it and start peeling? Nails, you get a toothpick or something? Try to grab like a first uh, budget. So you just stick it in. Try to get a little piece. Because you can at least peel off, and you just start peeling off. But after that, it's more like if you ever had glue. Yeah. If you had glue, like if you ever got on your nails or something, and you start peeling it off. It's oh. Kind of like that. Okay. It just comes off like that. Yeah, you want to probably come in on this side because you could see yeah. all the white. Okay, so now we're doing glassifier. Six rims. Check out six rims. After you leave the plastic dip, you should wait at least 30 to 40 minutes. And whether like this, if it's like nice and dry and hot, yeah. 15, 20 minutes is good enough. Cause you could already see the plastic dip was drying awfully quick. All right, our second coat of gloss now. Oh, the sun's coming out again. How do you clean these? Either you use a professional method of this uh, product called Break Dust Pro. And How much get, is it? It's like 30 bucks, man. Plus the shipping, it'll come in with 50 bucks. That's, you could just redo your rims for like <laughs> extra 70. Yeah, but what you could also <laughs> take a hose, water it down. Um, do not scrub with anything that's rough. You gotta go, you gotta use a microfiber cloth. I think. Use a microfiber cloth. Yeah. You can right buy there. a pack of, uh, I think it's 10 for like five bucks a Canadian just tire. Make sure it's not dirty. Yeah. Yeah, don't use a dirty one. Use a clean so one. So this with water? Yeah. But what you want to do is you want to take you want to take a hose, spray it on it. Then you take you gotta make sure you lube this, or it's gonna start scrubbing off. Because the paint's gonna start become, start fade off. Depends how hard you do it. Don't, you're not supposed to go too hard. You're supposed to go lightly, like spot it down. And how often should you clean them? I have a clean mine at all, so you could see. You oh, can that's see pretty. The condition okay. of it. Yeah, that's good. They look yeah, good. It's not too bad. I mean, I rely on uh, rely on rain most of the time. Some people like once a week. Some people like once a month. Or come back here, pay an extra one twenty. And redo them. Redo them, man. Hey, you could totally do a subscription service, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so if you had to give advice to any uh, kids out there in high school about doing their own thing, what would that be? I'd say don't be scared to follow your ideas. I had a lot of ideas growing up in high school, but I was thought, oh, people are going to think I'm dumb. People are going to think I'm too extra, right? I would also say think carefully what you want to do with your life. Don't go to school if you think just because my friends going to school, I need to go to school. Go At to least school. high school, right? You should go. Yeah, you should get your diploma because <laughs> you need your diploma everywhere. I just hope that that comes out nice and clean. Yeah, hopefully. Whoa, we're right here. Look what happens. I don't know what that is. How did that happen? I don't know. <gasps> this is the overspray. Is that overspray? Yeah, man. That's not good. See, this is what I was afraid of. It's not going to affect it too much. It's over here too. So next time, make sure you wrap the hood. Yeah, it just comes up that easy. I think pinstriping tape would do the job, right? Basically, go all the way around, outline it. 
<laughs> All right, so there you go. What do you think? What do you think? Are you happy with it? Yeah, the rims look great. All right, so that's six, six, six rims. rims. Six you know rims. What it's called. All right, guys, so this is how to plastic dip your car. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go check out BD's six rims on Instagram. Check me out on YouTube, Dube Experiment on Twitter. Marcin, out. The more you think about it, the more you're not gonna do it. Because now you're gonna have a second thought, and now you're gonna say, yeah, what if, what if, what if. What if doesn't bring you success. You get rewarded for your effort. Will it? Will it? Thank you so Yay, much. Thank you. When you stop marketing your business, and that's when your business die out. So this is a Monster Vision HD Vision 1080p camera. And uh, it's yours. If you had unlimited budget, what do you think you would do for your business? How often do I like the advertisement on Facebook or YouTube? No, I never, ever. Exactly. I don't even look at it. I don't when I'm sitting on the subway or when I'm waiting for somebody, or I'm reading a newspaper and I saw an ad, so I, I'm actually looking at it. I want to know what your advice is to kids out there who don't want to work these days. And then you've got your monk, and the opportunities are everywhere. You just got to keep your eyes open. So, um, you got to pay me for that. <laughs> I'm, totally, I'm totally kidding.